Hey you guys, and happy day seven of beta. Since the first week of April is over and we've been just doing random videos so far, I thought I would go ahead and post my March favorites video. Um, I had a lot going on in March and it seems like my most constant companion was anxiety. You can see I have like spots on my face where I've just picked really badly. I've chewed off my fingernails and they're really funky. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what March was comprised of, it seemed like. Um, which, hey, we all have anxiety at times, and things are what they are. But, um, some things I really enjoyed this month, besides constant anxiety, were this NYC lip stain. Um, I picked it up just randomly... It was really cheap, like $2, $3, and um, it says it's 16 hours, it lasts 16 hours, um, it doesn't last 16 hours for me, probably because I chew my lips a lot, but it's like a felt tip marker, um, and it applies like really easily, it's, you know, it's nice because it can be as light as you want it, like you can just put a little bit on. But it also layers really well, so you can get a really intense lip look. And, like I said, it doesn't last 16 hours for me, but I wore it to school the other day, and it lasted through the school day. And I actually, um, I mentioned in my Friday video that I was in a school play randomly. They had some kids drop out, and I joined up and participated um, as a favorite to the choir director. But um, I layered this, as part of my stage makeup, I layered this under my lipstick. And it worked really well, um, helped the lipstick stay on longer, so if you guys like lip stains or you want to try it, this is especially good for any kind of trendy color, I think, because like I said, it was really cheap, and that's, I've, I've mentioned before, like when it's trendy things, I really like to find cheap dupes of them to see if I'm going to like it before I invest a lot of money in a color. Um, since it was Easter, I spent a lot of time eating Reese's Peanut Butter Eggs. Because I think that anything that is shaped as a holiday item is better. Like Reese cups are really good, but Reese's eggs and Reese's pumpkins and Reese's trees are a lot better. Same way with like a Hershey candy bar and a Hershey bunny. I think they're just always better when they are novelty shaped. I'm a huge fan of novelty shaped items. Um, surprisingly, spending three to four hours after school singing every day has done wonders for my voice, which is a lie. Um, I've <laughs> been particularly croupy through that, and my lips have randomly been more chapped, I think because, um, you know, when you sing to do any kind of performance, I don't know if you guys have experience with that, but you breathe differently, and, you know, when you're on stage, the lights are weird, so I've been using um, lots and lots of chapstick, but particularly just standard Burt's Bees. It kind of tingles and stings when you put it on, but um, I, I love rosebud sap, but during the school day, like having to touch that with your finger and apply it, I don't, that's really germy. Um, and I can't wash my hands as many times as I would like at school because then I would do nothing but wash my hands. So a lip chapstick that I don't have to touch, um, just a regular tube of chapstick is always good. And I think this is, um, it's one of the best you can get. I have about 10 tubes of this. I have one in my car and one in my work bag and one in my pants pockets. Um, like It's on my dresser so I can put it in my pants pockets. I've also been, um, allergies have started back up. There have been a lot of weather changes. It'll be really cold and really warm. So my skin has been like really dry and itchy. So I've been using um, Aveeno lotion, like this Aveeno lotion. And now I feel like Jennifer Aniston in the Aveeno commercial. But... Um, again, moisturizes for 24 hours, but I don't find that that is true. I find that it does not keep, I have to reapply a lot, but, um, mainly my hands because I wash them so frequently trying to get rid of germs and stuff, but, um, you can get this in any drugstore at Walmart. It's relatively, I mean, it's, it's, ex it's expensive for, I guess, drugstore lotion, but it's a lot cheaper than most, like, fancy stuff. It's 
speaking of itchiness, um, wearing stage makeup, uh, we wore stage makeup for two nights of performances, and then we also had to do, like, two dress rehearsals in full makeup, and my face has been so itchy since then, even though I use my own makeup, because I know that I react really poorly to so many different things, because my skin is so sensitive. Drink out of my One Direction cup, excuse me. This video is not sponsored by One Direction, but if they would like to sponsor a video, I'm receptive to plans. So, um, speaking of my One Direction cup, I have a ton of these, like, 16-ounce cups from Walmart. And, um, they're my favorite because this one has, I used this one last night, and it has lipstick, like, caked on it from <laughs> drinking out of it before our performance yesterday. Um... They're like 16 ounces, which is ideal if you have like a soda and you need to put ice in it. Um, I drink a ton of water, so I drink water out of them. But they're really good because they don't sweat and they don't leave weird rings. You can't break them. I drop things a lot, so that's really good. And they have amazing designs. This one has all the My Little Ponies on it, except for Fluttershy, which, wait, it also doesn't have Rarity on it. This cup is a complete failure. I have a, a One Direction cup. Alyssa got me this one for Christmas. And she also got me a Louie cup. Right? Yeah, a Louie cup. Um, I have an Avengers one. And I have another My Little Pony one. And I have like, Star Wars and uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I have like a collection of them. It's like they're 88 cents. And I buy them. I don't know. It's an addiction. I, every time I go to the store, I get one. And I always get, for every holiday, I get Alyssa the Snoopy one. And I actually managed to find her one after, right after Easter. Um, I found her the Easter Bunny Charlie Brown one with Snoopy on it. And um, I didn't really read very much, it seems like, last month. It seems like I didn't do anything in March, which is boring. But, um, so I didn't really read anything. So I don't really have a favorite book. I haven't watched any new TV shows. Um... So, like, all I feel like I did in March was go to play practice, which is crazy because I only agreed to do the play halfway through March. So, I don't know. My last favorite, though, is, um, I've, I don't know. I feel like I talk frequently about how I have weird allergies and especially, like, skin allergies to, like, soaps and makeups and things like that. I struggle a lot to find things that I like that I can use for long times, um, without breaking out, I'm having like a weird rash or other odd um, reactions because I have, like I said, terrible, terrible allergies about that. But one of my favorite things are handmade soaps because shower gel and soap are the number one most difficult item I have. Like that's what I have the most trouble finding. And I found this guy on Etsy. It's called Rocky Top Soap Shop, and it's handmade, all natural, and unscented soaps. And this one, the exfoliator, I don't have it with me because it's the one I've, I've used almost the entire thing. Um, but this guy sells regular soap, but on his Etsy shop, he also has, like, sampler sets where he, you have to cut the soap to the right bar shape, and he saves all of those extra ends and packages them to sell. So, like, for $15, I got $16. For $15, I got six sample end pieces of soap. And like I said, this one's the first one I use, the exfoliator, and it's so good. It has um, poppy seeds, oatmeal, and apricot kernels in it to exfoliate, and that's really awesome. And then, this is how big they are. They're like pretty decent size bars of soap, considering their sample sizes. And there's a lot of really cool, um, this one smells like so much like coffee because, like he says, they're unscented, but when he uses natural ingredients to make them, like this one's made with coffee, you can see the coffee grounds in it actually, um, it, ta it smells like coffee because it's got coffee grounds. So even if there is a scent, it's from a natural base. So there's coffee scrub and a coffee shampoo bar, which I haven't used a shampoo bar yet because I'm a little scared to use that. I don't, I don't know how it's going to work out. And then there's a Rubius Red shampoo which is made out of tea and um, this Cambrian Blue, it's a type of clay. So I'm pretty excited to use that because I just read an article that said um, 
like using clay based things like clearly like clay masks and stuff are really good for your face but they're also um like little bits of like the darker harder sandy bits of the clay in here that help with exfoliation and I'm so excited to use this activated charcoal on his website this one had gotten really fantastic reviews so um I've only used like I said one kind of the soap because I'm also tend to do things really oddly and once I use one thing I have to use all of it and then go to something else um and part of that is just making sure that I don't have any sort of other allergic reaction to it but I'll link this website like he has a website and an Etsy store so I will link both of those in the description so you guys can check that out if you like it like that kind of thing and I like I'm obsessed with sample sets because I just I don't know I feel like it's like a try before you buy type thing and each set each bar of soap it's which is it's a big bar of soap I can't remember how big they are they're like five dollars each so essentially I got you know for the price of three soaps I'm gonna get to try six soaps and that's always something I enjoy but um yeah I think Alyssa's gonna post her favorites tomorrow I feel like this one was kind of boring but like I said March just didn't really speak to me it was supposed to be springy and then it got like cold again and we had random snow and you know, I had a, like a lot of cute little spring dresses that came out that I purchased and then I couldn't wear any of them because it was so cold I had to wear like my boots and my heavy coat. And so April is already shaping up to be super fun and I've enjoyed a lot of stuff. Mainly like I love doing Veda, which is weird because I know I don't vlog frequently, which is odd, but things seem to be slowing down. Things seem to be just a little more relaxed. So Hopefully, Alyssa will post tomorrow. Sorry, this is kind of a long video. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Let me know in the description or with a video response things that you really liked in March. I can't even remember what month it is. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Bye.